What is going on today? We are diving into every WWE Elite that was revealed at San Diego Comic Con. Usually when we go out there and we cover everything that is in person, again, we are not able to really digest all of the figures that were shown off. Also, Ringside Collectibles is usually showing off brand new action figures on their IG feed, and I'm not able to actually see them, observe them, give my reaction to them until I'm back home. So today, man, we're going to be looking at every single WWE Elite. I believe it's over 70 Elite figures or something like that, man. So buckle the hell up. This should be a long one. We're going to dive into every WWE WWE Elite. I'm going to give you all of the rundown, the details, what I like, don't like, what to look for, all those different things, man. We're going to be discussing in this video, so buckle the hell up. It should be a long and good one, but we did also do this for the Ultimate Editions. If you guys missed our coverage of the figures in person, go check those out, as well as reviewing and breaking down every WWE Ultimate Edition that was revealed at San Diego Comic Con 2024. So with that being said, man, let's dive into San Diego Comic Con 2024 WWE Elite reveals and break it down, man. Let's start things off with WWE Elite 112. Now, this set is okay. It's not my favorite set of all time, but we will get in there. And the first figure we're looking at is going to be Becky Lynch from Elite 112. Now, I am as big a Becky fan as you'll find. I do enjoy Becky Lynch's work, but the one thing about Mattel is they never really can capture her head sculpt. This isn't a bad head sculpt per se, but it is a little bit weird. It kind of reminds me of the, the Trish Stratus we saw from Elite 111. It just looks a bit weird in the face. I don't know. It's something off, but we do have the Chase variant in the black and kind of flesh tone, which is a very odd look for Becky. Uh, I don't know about that, but I do like the Rogue or the, I don't even know what the entire inspiration is here, but we do have a brand new Becky. I like the Rogue style gear a lot more than the Chase. I think this Chase is honestly completely skippable. I think that it looks very weird because you don't have that mesh look. It just looks like she's wearing weird paneling with, I don't know, like the skin tone, all the different skin tone just makes the figure look a bit weird to me. I think the coloration, if you change the color palette, probably would have looked a lot better, but the green and yellow looks spectacular. I actually like this gear a lot. And one thing you'll notice is the basic boots. This is going to be one of the last waves that we have to deal with with these basic boots on these women's elites. So this is going to be a great change of pace. Finally can get some newer feet and boot molds in here for WWE Elite women's figures, which is going to be something we have to fix up on surgery and stuff because, as you guys can see, even in these photos, figures don't even stand flat. So that'll be something that we can finally get rid of. But the figure looks okay. It's a weird head sculpt. I don't know. I think it'll be one of those things that you have to wait on until you get in person. But let's move on to Xavier Woods in Elite 112. Very different head sculpt. And honestly, his neck looks a bit long. I feel like the head sculpt sits a bit high here. And this looks like Xavier Woods if he were, I don't know, he looks like a cartoon character. It really doesn't look like Xavier Woods to me. It's a very weird look for him, but I do like the gear. The gear's cool, and there's enough Xavier Woods head sculpts out there that I think you could change the head sculpt to make it look good, but he is in this floral gear that we have going on here in this tealish light blue and black. Very cool gear. I like the formula they use for Xavier Woods, and we do have a Kofi Kingston coming in Elite 113 that matches, but this isn't my favorite Xavier Woods. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but you can let me know what you think of this Xavier Woods. I don't know. It just misses on the head sculpt, in my opinion, but we also have Seth Rollins now. One thing we've touched on a lot is, for some reason, they keep giving us black gear and gold gear every time for Seth Rollins. This is very odd because they've changed the knee pad mold for him. They give him the gold lower legs on here, and the gear does look sweet, and I think this was supposed to be Bray Wyatt inspired, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. At least that's what I heard. I'm not entirely sure, but one thing I do like, and I'm a Red Sox fan, but I, I actually dig some pinstripes, and the pinstripes here actually look quite cool, and this looks a lot better to me than his gold gear we just got in the Elite 109 Seth Rollins, which is very cool. It is very similar, but I think it looks a little bit better to me, so we will be picking this figure up, seeing what's it about. I wish they included something else besides just the championship, but one thing you're going to notice about that championship is there's no Seth Rollins side play, so I think that's a big deal. We have, you know, a lot of people were worried about that, upset that, oh my god, it comes with Seth Rollins side plates. I bet a lot of people are going to be excited to know that this figure is not going to have the Seth Rollins side plate, so you can put this on anybody you want, Gunther, Damian Priest, whoever the hell you want, man, you can put this in your fig feds, and you don't have to worry about anything because it doesn't have any Seth Rollins side plates, so I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that, but we do have Seth Rollins there. I like Seth Rollins a lot, so this is a cool figure to include, and we also have a look at JD McCrispy here which is going to be a nice addition, first time in the line. He does come with two different interchangeable hairs. You have the sort of pushback hair, and then you have the man bun style hair, which is cool. He comes with the entrance gear. I, I bet he'll be pretty poseable. He seems like it's going to be a pretty poseable guy, but JD McDouble looking pretty good right here. I like the gear and everything. Not Judgment Day per se, but you could easily put it in the Judgment Day. I mean, his overthrow coat has the JD for JD McCrispy, so you could easily put that on him and use that as a Judgment Day. It's got the spade in there. It's kind of cool. I don't know. You can you can look at that, but it's a cool looking figure, first time in the line, finally 
finally getting him in there. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that one. And then we do have a Channing figure, which looks pretty good. You know, the formula is a bit weird, you know. I think it is a little bit weird. I like the head sculpt, the pants. You have these, like, baggy pants. He's got the kind of, I can't remember the name of the, off the top of the thing. It's an Elite 30, it's an Elite 93 T-Bar, something like that. I think that's the crotch piece that you have going on right here. And it's the SummerSlam Elite Hogan in the camo. That's that same crotch piece, which is a bit weird, but he does come with this entrance jacket and stuff. Gold boots in there. Pretty cool figure. Looks like it'll probably pose around decently, so we'll have to see. But we do have Channing in there first time in the line as well. And then we also have a Bray Wyatt, which is going to be a re-release of a canceled figure and kind of redone here, fitting it in here. This figure was supposed to be released on two separate occasions. It's kind of got like a weird lore around this figure. But rest in peace to Bray Wyatt. This is going to be, unless the Ultimate Edition comes first, which I don't know, if, I don't, I doubt it will because this is an Elite 112, which is the next Elite line to be released in the main Elite line. And then the Ultimate Edition Series 24 is the next next to, you know, it's not, we're not on 24 yet, we're on 23, and that hasn't hit yet, so I imagine this Elite Wave will hit first, but this figure, you know, this is going to be his first Elite back in the line since his passing, which is very tragic, obviously, and we're going to miss Bray Wyatt, but we do have some great figures here to celebrate him, and this figure looks very, very good. I like this figure. It's kind of a repaint and an upgrade of a previous Bray Wyatt, but it's still damn good. Great pants. I love the khaki color and everything. Very, very cool. Very cool figure overall. Very much looking forward to this one, and then we also have a look at Elite 113 coming up, and it is Elite 113 CM Punk and the Macho Man gear. Now, I will say, really wish he didn't come with these gigantic knee pads, but it's not the biggest deal. It's a CM Punk. It's a great head sculpt. It's a gear. Been waiting on for Mattel for years and years. He looks pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. You have all the tattoos. Great looking figure overall. I know a lot of people are going to be excited to get any CM Punks, and they're going to continue to pump these out, but this was one of those that really popped everybody. I feel like everybody was excited for it. You have this Macho Man gear. The pink, yellow looks great. Great looking figure on display, and it's going to be... It's gonna fit right in our collections. Everybody's been waiting on this one, man. So CM Punk is easily gonna be one of the most obtainable figures from Elite 113. We also have Tiffany Stratton and Woof, man. Tiffany Stratton, they did not do her any service here. I do not like this head sculpt. I think it looks nothing like her, really. I it, Just a botched head sculpt right here. I do not like this head sculpt. Maybe it'll look better. You know, maybe we got a misprint or something here. Maybe this is an early prototype or just, I know it's not a, maybe it's a sample. It's probably a sample, I guess, that was on display at Comic-Con. But the gear does look good. I will say from the neck down, the figure does look great, but the head sculpt is pretty significant to a figure. You know, I think that the head sculpt, honestly, you could say probably matters the most out of all these things, and this head sculpt's just not doing it. I do not like this Tiffany head sculpt, but at least the figure looks good from the head, from the neck down, and maybe you could put her basic head sculpt on there. Maybe you could repaint it if you're talented enough. I don't know, but I am uh, not the biggest fan of this figure right here, but next up, we do have Kofi Kingston. Now, nobody really got a good shot of this figure for some reason. I had to screenshot this from my coverage at San Diego Comic-Con, but it's a cool looking figure. Again, it does match the Xavier from Elite 112. It's a good head sculpt. Solid formula. He is going to have the brand new shoe mold, which is great. Something we've been waiting on for a very long time. Getting rid of the John Cena shoe mold. So hopefully these shoes, they'll be more stable. They'll have more stability. Hopefully all of that does check out. He doesn't have shin cut, which is unfortunate. I wish they'd get rid of this leg mold. It'd be so nice to have a lower leg cut on this figure, but it does not look like that is going to be the case. But it, it's it's good. You know, it's toyetic. It's a cool gear and everything. And Kofi Kingston, his Elite 96 figure in the Skeletor gear actually kind of shocked me in ways. So maybe this one will shock me as well. But we also have a look at Trick Williams. Pretty big man right here. Not my first choice for the torso and everything, but he still looks like a stud. You got you got the North American title in there. You got a great looking head sculpt, cool glasses, very cool gear. The white and gold is chef's kiss. You guys know I love white attires. This is great. I do wish that it probably wouldn't have been the exact, you know, things I would have used in this figure, but it even has a necklace in it. It's a very cool figure. I just wish that they would have changed some different things, but I'm sure for his first figure, it's gonna it's gonna be great. It looks like it's gonna be very poseable as well and this is a character we've been waiting on for a while and everybody's been wanting a Trick Williams so I am very excited for the Trick Williams figure looks like it's going to be amazing and then we also have Dragon Lee who is also a first time in the line and he comes with a rubber jacket I know say what you want to say about the rubber jacket at least you know we don't get these at a clip you know at least most of the time they are including cloth goods at least it's not some jacket we've been waiting on right it's not you know like an iconic jacket it is a cool jacket and I know there are people out there that have been wanting Dragon Lee but at least it's not some ultimate edition or something like that where they just didn't include any cloth goods, right? So this is this is pretty good, you know? I like the torso. I like the formula here. I like the way the boots look. It's a white gear. Good-looking head sculpt in the mask. Mask wrestlers is always very toyetic, so 
I like this Dragon Lee figure. Pretty good stuff overall for Elite 113. And we also have Carlito, which is a guy we've been waiting on for a very long time, man. Been waiting on Carlito. Very weird looking head sculpt, and I'll say he kind of has the Eddie Guerrero treatment where they probably could have done a different skin tone. Maybe they can upgrade that on the next one, but it's not bad per se. I don't hate it. I think it's a good modern Carlito. You get two different versions. He is going to have that new boot mold we've been talking about. I like the use of the Bobby Roode torso, the Xavier Woods torso is a good usage. You got the purple gear. You have the chase and the white, I think. I think that's the way it is. Comes with a cloth good shirt. Comes with the apple holding hand. Pretty cool stuff overall. I mean, Carlito is a guy we've been waiting on for a while. He's going to come up later in the video, but having a Carlito is so good. It's just so damn good, man. Been waiting on it for a very long time. Finally including it is a home run. We love to see it, having Carlito in the line. Now, next up, we have Elite 114, and we started off with Jimmy Uso. Now, this is one of the figures that I was very excited for because I love this leg mold. I love this jogger leg mold here. We have a brand new leg mold that looks like it's going to be a lot more poseable. It looks very articulated. I hope that he has shin cut. I'm not going to hold my breath on it, but I can't tell if he has it or doesn't have it. I'm going to say that he doesn't have it, but hopefully he'll at least have ankle rotation. Even if he just has ankle rotation, I'll be okay. But he does have the CM Punk sort of ultimate edition shoes that are coming on his Survivor Series Mattel Creations exclusive return figure. So hopefully that'll be a good case as well, but this is going to be a great base for many people. I think people could use these legs on Roman Reigns. You could use these legs on different guys, but this Jimmy is actually a figure that I'm very much looking forward to. Maybe my favorite Jimmy they've ever done, and I like this a lot. I like the new shoes. I like the leg mold. Very good Jimmy right here, and it's just like it's just a Jimmy in black joggers with a black bandana, but damn, it looks good. Hopefully, it'll come with some cool accessories as well, but we also have Zoe Starks here. Got to see her figure. She was also there at San Diego Comic-Con. You have the cloth goods. You have a lot of newness going on here. You have some unique molds here. I believe this figure is pretty much like sculpted one of one. I mean, everything, the head sculpt, the torso, the upper torso, the, I don't know about the legs, but the boots right here are new as well. So this looks good. She has the knee brace. Pretty cool figure overall. And she has this like one arm jacket deal going on. Pretty cool figure overall. I think this is nice. Hopefully, I think it looks very small and compact, but it looks like it's going to be very poseable, which is good. So the Zoe Stark figure was pretty damn good in my opinion. We also have Braun Breaker from Elite 114. He does have the black gear and we do have a render. He got like a thicker beard going on. The, you know, the kind of the, the overthrowing animal head right here kind of shaded the head sculpt. You couldn't really see it. Maybe they did that so that you couldn't see, you know, how bad the head sculpt is. I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's very fine, but he came in Elite 104. I think I'm going to like the Elite 104 figure better than this, but we won't know until we have it in hand, but it should be fun. He's got a singlet in there. Pretty cool figure, kind of plain, but at least you get some cool accessories going on. And we also have Jey Uso, who is in also Elite 114. He's going to have the ultimate shoes going on. He has the, you know, the Yeet main event, Jey Uso. One thing we did touch on is that he's not going to have the, you know, the cropped shirt, which would have been cool, but he does come with the Yeet shirt, which I know a lot of people are going to be hyped about. You have sort of his entrance hands in there, which look very good, you know, but I think, look how, look at these legs look. This is the Elite 106 Uso's legs and the Ultimate Edition style legs, but they are very stiff. Everybody knows those legs are very stiff, so I think the new Jimmy legs that we saw in the Elite 114 are going to be much more superior to this, but we'll have to see, obviously. That is something that we that remains to be seen, but the Jimmy and the J both look good in Elite 114. And then finishing up Elite 114, we do have a brand new Ilya figure, which looks very good. Good head sculpt in here. A much better head sculpt than what he had first go around. I wonder if he will come with any sort of entrance goods or anything. You do have just an NXT title here, which, you know, we've seen that with Seth Rollins, just interchangeable heads and a title, but maybe they'll include some cloth goods. I guess we'll have to see. That remains to be seen, of course. A lot of these things remain to be seen, but I like this Ilya Dragunov figure. Looks very, very good. Hopefully, it will be very poseable like his Elite 96 figure. And then we also have a Final Boss Rock in Elite 115, which is going to include his entrance vest. We have a brand new Elite here, updated with double jointed arms that is actually going to include the upgraded tattoo. So it should be a lot better version of the Rock than we've seen in the past with the upgraded tattoo. The only upgraded tattoo we have right now are two figures that are single jointed and way too small. So this is going to be something that we've been waiting on and one in the line. It's got the necklace. Very cool Rock figure. Looks like a brand new leg mold as well. Unless those, no, those are actually those baggy Mr. Perfect legs. So we'll have to see. Maybe, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see what the figure looks like. But we also have our truth which looks to be good. I like this torso choice. It looks to be, you know, they are going to include probably the new John Cena shoe mold, hopefully. I hope to never see the John Cena shoe mold ever again, hopefully, but we'll have to see. But the R-Truth looks good. He's been modernized here. We haven't seen an R-Truth in a very long time, so getting an R-Truth here is very nice. Only comes with a mic. Maybe he'll come with a shirt or something. I'm, I'm sure they'll upgrade him, but he looks very good here in render form. And then also for two more Elite 115 figures, we do have CM Punk here in his Royal Rumble 2024 gear. You know they're going to pump out CM Punks, man. I mean, they showed off so many CM Punks. This doesn't include, you know, you have that, uh, you have the Defining Moments ringside exclusive, you have the Elite 113, you have this Elite 115, you have the main event top picks or whatever, not the main event, but the top picks Elite in the solid black, you have the Ultimate Edition coming, there are so many CM Punks that they're going to pump out and... This is just the beginning, but this is Elite 115 CM Punk in the Chicago return style gear. And then we also have the 
the Kyrie Sane, which has not been on the line in a minute, but she looks very good here as well. Very toyetic. I'm sure that all the bells and whistles will be included. Very poseable. All you know, you love to see women's figures that get the you know the ultimate style treatment. I'm sure this figure is going to be no different. It looks very very good in color form and everything here in a render. And then we also have Elite 116 Lexus King, which is very interesting. You know, I didn't expect to get him here, but he looks good. He looks like he could be in some sort of band in the 70s or 80s. He's looking good. Black and gold gear. I feel like I'm sick of black and gold. And it looked like he it looks like he may have Johnny Gargano syndrome down there, but we'll have to see when all of that comes out. But it's an okay figure. I don't know if I would use the, I hate this torso for anybody to be honest, but we'll have to see if they actually use it when it comes out. I'm sure they will though, to be honest. Hate to see it, but it's probably what they're going to be using. But we also got his dad in Brian Pillman here. And this can go along with your Hollywood Blondes Elite 81 Stunning Steve Austin. So that'll be cool. And this is a figure that a lot of people have been waiting on. I'm sure we're we're probably set to get mini Brian Pillman. So this is the only one we saw. But I'm sure they're going to go back and give us some cool Brian Pillman figures, I'd imagine. And so this one will look very good. Very good formula on the guy. He looks good. Good head sculpt. Excited to see what he looks like when the, you know, the full prototypes are released. And then rounding up Elite 116, we do have Jade Cargill here, which has a lot of newness going on. You have this jacket, which was on display at San Diego Comic-Con. I can't remember if I included an image of that, but she should be one of one sculpt. I mean, you're going to have a brand new sculpted top. I'm sure the arms are going to be double jointed and jacked like China. You're going to have, you know, a new lower stomach sculpt. You're going to have these new entrance hands here that look like the nails are actually sculpted on there. I'm sure those will be flimsy, you know, the, how they've done in the past with those hands, but the silver gear looks very cool. White boots look good. This is going to be one of the more sought after women's figures of 2024 when it releases. I imagine, uh, I don't know, actually, I, I'm not entirely sure. Surely we'll see see this figure before Christmas, but we will have, that remains to be seen, you know, we'll have to, you know, sit and wait on that one, but we also have a look at the greatest hits set that's coming up, it is John Cena here in the navy and yellow, pretty cool figure, you know, they're going to continue to re-release these John Cenas, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll get some gears that we haven't seen before, but it is a nice upgrade, you know, all of the, the Cenas of the past have been painted on armbands to see them re-release with the sculpted armbands, makes sense, I get what they're going for there, just uh, maybe something that I have to upgrade my Cena shelf slowly but surely, but it's a cool inclusion, not the, not my favorite or first pick, but it is what it is. At least it's a, you know, a Cena that we haven't seen before with the sculpted armbands. But we also have Natalia here. Now, unfortunately, this Natalia is going to be single-jointed on the knees. This is not something that, you know, they, uh... They apparently they couldn't change it, which I don't know if I buy because the I think her last elite had double jointed legs, which they could have plugged in here. Which I I don't know the behind the scenes and all that, but this is a very poor greatest hits release right here. I don't know how many people are going to be grabbing this one. I like the head sculpt, great head sculpt, and I love the paws out claws out shirt. But the figure execution itself, having double jointed arms but no double jointed knees, is very crazy for Mattel. It's also got a painted on top over a sculpt that was originally there, which looks very weird. It's just not. This is just. Not not a very good figure. It's got the basic boots, single jointed knees, just not, you know, a particularly good release here, which is unfortunate because her last Elite was so good. I wish they would have just used that as the mold and repainted it, included the shirt, included a new head sculpt or something, but I don't know. It's just a weird one, man. I think this was supposed to be a Walgreens exclusive originally that got canceled, and so that's why you're getting these single jointed legs or whatever, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just not my favorite, man. They could have done so much better in her. You remember, I used to hate on that basic all the time, but her newest Elite, I can't remember. I think it's Elite 7 was very damn good. It just had single jointed arms. I don't know why you just wouldn't you reuse that and repaint it to look like the Walgreens exclusive, but what the hell do I know? Maybe they ran into some snags or something, but we also have a look at Seamus here, which is a previously released Seamus. Pretty good head sculpt. Cool one going on. You know, we haven't seen this look in a very long time, so I know some people are going to be excited for this Seamus, and it looks to be a pretty damn good Seamus, man. I know that uh, there's going to be some people that are, that are after this. I want to say he was in Elite 8 originally, or Elite 9 or something, but the next figure we have is going to be Greatest Hits Series Number 5. Now, this right here is just weird as hell, man. I don't know what's going on right here. Greatest Hits. Now, originally, Greatest Hits was told that it was going to be a way to get previously sought after or previously released elites that are going for high value on the aftermarket. But this makes no sense. Dominic Mysterio, LA Knight, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. Now, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, you might have a, you might have a, an inclination, right? If this, if this Seth Rollins is Elite 45 or whatever, they are using a modern photo of the Elite 109. I I hope to God that's not the Elite 109 Seth Rollins repainted or something. That would be just weird. It, I guess if it's a really good gear, maybe. But this has slowly become some sort of top picks wave or something. And it's just very weird. Roman Reigns, what the hell are they going to do with Roman Reigns? I guess if it's a shield gear or something, maybe you could do that. But Dominic Mysterio and LA Knight, I mean, that is... That is insane. LA Knight has one Elite, Elite 108, which literally was just released yesterday. I don't know what you could possibly do there. They're probably going to repaint it with the exact same formula, but that's not Greatest Hits. 
That's not what Greatest Hits was originally. I mean, that belongs in a top picks wave. And then Dominic Mysterio, again, makes no sense. And we're getting so many Dominics. We have an ultimate coming. And I know he's very popular, right? Especially at the time of this recording this video. It's just a very strange thing. I guess, like, maybe the, the goalpost has shifted or the definition has shifted for what Greatest Hits is going to be or something. But I don't know. I find that very, very weird. But next we go into Greatest Hits Series 6, which makes a lot more sense. You have Natalia in there. You have the John Cena in there. You have the Sheamus that we just discussed. But this Cody Rhodes, apparently, is going to be the bag on the head Elite 113 and not Elite 113, Elite 13 Cody Rhodes, which is apparently something that's going to be there. I think it's in the description or something on Ringside Collectibles website. Roman Reigns, another one, probably just going to be a repaint or something. I, I guess maybe. Maybe they'll give him better beard deco or something. We'll get the faded taper beard or something. I don't know. I'm not holding my breath on that one. But And then the Miz. May, I, we haven't had a Miz in a long time, so I could see that. You know, getting a double-jointed arm Miz is something we haven't seen. So any Miz, I think, would be fine there. We haven't had a Miz in so long that I don't think it really matters what they pick. But these two greatest hits ways are very interesting. Uh, I'd like to know what your thoughts are on the Greatest Hits Series 5. It's just a very weird, and they're coming with five figures, and then they're upgrading to six, the next, or the four figures to six, which is weird, which, in Greatest Hits Series 4, we saw AJ, Randy, Hulk Hogan, and Rey Mysterio. Just all weird stuff, man. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. I, I, I'm just lost, man. I'm lost like you, so just uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But then we move on to some Legends figures. We do have Bret Hart right here. Very good, all pink, looking damn good. Hopefully, we can retool the title soon, but this is kind of a repaint Bret Hart, but it's a damn good Re Bret Hart. I'm all for Bret Hart figures, and this is a very good pink color. I like this. I like this Bret Hart a hell of a lot, and it's a reuse of the Elite 94 head sculpt, which is arguably his best head sculpt they've ever given us. And then we have two Rick Rudes. We have a regular edition and a chase. I don't know which is which, but you get some really cool gears here, really good head sculpts, really good formulas, and we have that upgraded WCW World title that looks so damn good, something we've been wanting for a very long time. Just looks so much better than the WWE version that they've been giving us, and this is going to be a world title you can put on so many different characters. It looks very very damn good. I love it. I think it looks very great. I loved seeing this in person. It looked so good in person. And until you see it in person, you can't really... I know you can look at photos and see the differences, man, but in person, it looks even better. So I'm, I'm very excited for the world title. And then we also have Bradshaw here, which is something I never thought I'd see, man. But he has a lot going on. You have the mismatched knee pads. These new boots right here look great. Comes with the damn cowbell or the, you know, the rope, the bull rope and everything looks very good. Very cool entrance gear or, you know, cloth goods there that you can include. I Shoot, dude, you could put that on a Demon Finn Balor or something, you know? So there's lots of cool things going on right here. New head sculpt and everything. I really wish they'd upgrade his formula. I've never liked his torso for him. I think it's too ripped, to be honest. I think you could use a lot more broader torso, but I worry this guy, like Mean Mark, is probably going to be shelf warming, but hopefully, you know, it will, uh, it won't be as bad there, but, you know, I don't really care because the figures are great, so, you know, I'm, that, that's not mine to worry about, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just here to buy the figures, but next up we do, and finishing up this, we do have a new Sid Elite, which looks very good. Another guy that we haven't seen in so long, man. I think this is what, Elite 38 re-release. We have a, you know, a newer gritting head scope. You have the world title in there, which is nice. A figure that just I have not seen in so long. It's been so long since we've gotten a figure of him that this is very much needed. We're getting some freshness back into the line, some names we haven't seen in a minute. So this is a very nice Sid Elite. I'm very, I actually, I'm actually excited to get this figure. So that'd be very nice to see. But we're moving on. We have some new Legends figure here. And this probably, I don't know if it won the weekend, but it's damn close. We have a new Kurt Angle Elite that's going to come with the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, for this Kurt Angle, a bald Kurt Angle on a singlet, it's something we've been waiting on for so long. I mean, there's so many different eras you could really put this in. This could be your TNA angle. This could be your wrestling machine angle. This could be, you know, your ruthless aggression angle. There's like so many different things you could plug in here. But this is something I've wanted for so long. I really wish that we could have seen a different formula. I don't really care for this formula for him, but I don't give a damn. I, I think it looks great. Got the medals in there. Got the mouth guard, like pissed off head sculpt. Got the world title. This is going to be a guy that I buy many of. Many, many Kurt Angles of, man. This is something we've been waiting on for so long. It's probably, again, won the weekend and possibly uh, people's favorite elite that was revealed. I think I polled my audience, you know, and everybody on my story and asked, you know, who are you most excited for? What figure were you most excited for to see revealed? And Kurt Angle was one of the ones that was picked the most. So this is a beast. Definitely looking forward to this. Something we had on our wish list for a very long time. But next up, we do have Carlito, which is kind of a debut Carlito, which is cool. He comes with John Cena's pendant necklace. Be cool if he came with a U.S. title. And I hate that it doesn't come with his purple and white boots. I would have liked to have seen the purple and white boots that, you know, I've talked about on the channel that I like a lot. Didn't see Kurt Angle's boots that I want to see and didn't see 
Carlito's boots that I wanted to see. But hopefully this figure will be good. It's got kind of a, you know, a younger Carlito. He's kind of smirking there. He's going to come with the apple hand and everything. Very cool figure, though. I'm very glad to see him included. Hopefully this opens the door to more Ruthless Aggression. I mean, we're getting two different Ruthless Aggression superstars right here. But we also have the Godfather, which is a very nice figure. Another guy we haven't seen since, what, like Elite 38, Elite 39. Very damn good repaint here in the yellow pants. Just a sick figure, man. I hope that the, the vest is airbrushed and looks good. He's very tatted up. It looks great, man. Great looking Godfather. Looks like it's probably going to be a true fix version of that original head sculpt, which is fine with me because we haven't seen Godfather in so damn long. It's been over 70, 80 series right now since we've seen a Godfather, so this is very good to see. And then we also got Great Muda, which I did not expect, man. Damn. Did not expect to see a Great Muda Elite. It just looks like, like, look at all the bells and whistles on this guy. It looks like he is, it, like, they go all out on certain people, and then they don't go all out on certain. Like, you know, you're getting the chest hair here. You're getting the Matt Hardy torso, not the Daniel Bryan torso. You know, you're getting lots of different deco like they're they're going all out which i'm all for i just wish that we would get that little and i know not every character calls for all the deco and all the details but damn this is a damn good looking figure right here man this is going to be in one of the top elites of the year possibly when it's all said and done and i don't know if we'll get this before the end of the year but it looks very good nonetheless. And we also have Billy Gunn, which is such a good figure here. You know, I wish Sting could get this kind of treatment where he could get figures made by both companies. But this figure is very good because there's so many guys you can make out of this base right here. I mean, you're talking like Hangman. You're talking like so many different promo gears you can use. You get the shooter hands, you get the bandana, the cowboy hat. What a damn good figure, a guy I did not expect to see here. And I'm hoping that the jeans come out good and everything. This is probably going to be those DDP legs, if I had to guess. The Monday Night Wars DDP legs with some different stuff going on. But this is a damn good figure. I like this a lot, man. This is good stuff. Hopefully we will, uh, you know, we'll get more details and hopefully the boots look good and everything is, you know, they check off all the boxes. But this is a great base for a lot of guys. But I was happy to see this and, you know, maybe we'll get some other guys down the line if... You know, we're venturing off into this territory. But let's get into some WrestleMania elites. We do have Seth Rollins from WrestleMania 39. One of my favorite reveals. I love the pink here. One of one sculpt on these thighs with like the cushion. You have this belt mold. The pink and the glowy metallic look looks insane. You have a lot of stuff going on here, man. I mean, this this is probably... The, I don't want to get crazy, but this may be my favorite Seth Rollins elite they've ever done. Unless they do like a greatest hits version of the Elite 45. This right here is just so good. I mean, one of my favorite colors, obviously. You have a lot of shimmer and different new stuff going on. It's just a great looking figure and one that uh, that popped me hard. This looks great. Great looking Seth Rollins. Very excited for it. We also have Bianca Belair. Very unique going on. She's got like the Hollywood star attire. Bianca Belair. She's got the you know, this unique sculpted top on here with the, the kiss or the lips emojis. You have the New World Championship in here, which looks to be remade. It just looks very clean. She does have massive knee pads on there, which kind of sucks, but the gold boots look good. This is a very good-looking Bianca Belair figure. We also have a look at Chilling Out for the Con re-release Hulk Hogan, which is going to be with a cloth good shirt. He's got his black pants on there. Much better version of that Chilling Out of the Con Hogan, which is something I never thought I'd see re-release, which is going to be, you know, kind of a re-release of the Elite 34 Hulk Hogan, which, again, I do dub the chilling out of the con Hulk Hogan but at least it's a it's a solid inclusion you know you could make different versions of Hulk Hogan and stuff but maybe it'll be a good base for other guys as well but we also have Bret Hart who was chilling in the packaging and this this packaging looks very good for the WrestleMania Vegas elites here for WrestleMania 41 but this Howard Finkel is probably the one that won me over but the Bret Hart looks a bit eh I don't like the head sculpt I love the packaging though the packaging is sweet but the Howard Finkel really popped me I thought like I would think I was standing in line there kind of fantasy booking who they could redo, and Howard Finkel was one of those that, you know, I thought, and he's the greatest announcer, a ring announcer of all time, in my opinion, best of all time, and getting another figure of him with the, the bow tie and the double jointed arms, it's maybe a set that I pick up multiples of just to build a Fink, and then having, you know, different, you know, different attires with, you know, guys in the in the bow tie and different stuff, but Fink looks really, really good, but we're moving on to the Great Kali Royal Rumble Build-A-Figure, starting out with the Hurricane. You know, we kind of had this wave leaked out to us beforehand, but this a hurricane leads me to think we're going to see a rosy figure. I just don't see a world where we don't see a rosy figure. I think we're definitely going to be seeing some sort of rosy elite coming down the line in the superhero form to go along with this hurricane. But it looks okay. You know, brand new head sculpt. I think they got the facial expression right. It looks very good, even though he's going to have Johnny Gargano syndrome, unfortunately. We also have Hulk Hogan here, which looks great. He's going to come with the, I guess, bed sheet or towel or whatever the hell it is. I want to say it was a sheet that was kind of airbrushed. Very cool. Hulk Hogan will live forever. It's a good centerpiece for your Hulk Hogan collections or something like that. You could really make a really sick Hulk Hogan display with all the different Hulk Hogans they've given us and accessories and stuff. You could really, uh, you know, really pop 
pop a shelf and, and have it go in there if you put this figure on display. We also have Cody Rhodes, which we knew was going to be his Royal Rumble 2023 win. This obviously means a lot to me. I was sitting front row when we saw this. I saw this in person in the front row at Royal Rumble. And one thing you'll notice about the head sculpt is they're actually using the Defining Moments head sculpt. I'm pretty sure it's the Defining Moments head sculpt, but a damn good attire, a damn good figure. He's got his new boot sculpt going on, new foot sculpt, all that different stuff. So this is going to be a step in the right direction. Hopefully his legs are poseable. I know they're going to be pinless, which makes me think they're going to be very stiff, but at least it's a good gear. It's a great head sculpt. It's a good base, Cody. Definitely going to be tracking this one down as we like to collect the Cody Rhodes figures. And then we also have Diesel here, which I did not know exactly what they would go with here, but I, you know, it kind of, it, it's okay. You know, you could, you could fix this guy up, switch the head sculpt out and stuff, but he does come with the fisted hands and everything like that. I was glad to see that, you know, it, I don't know, it just looks like it's lacking something. I don't know what it is, but something seems to be off about this diesel. But then last but not least, we do have the Build-A-Figure Great Khali, which we knew was coming, but he looks pretty good here. His first Elite, it is going to be the Build-A-Figure. Massive feet down there, very unique leg mold. It's got the Punjabi down the leg in the red. Really wish it was a debut Khali, but I'll take it in the red. I think this is when he got eliminated by Beth Phoenix, and I think he is going to also have some facial hair when it's all said and done. Kind of looks like an old throwback Mattel figure, but I think he is going to have a beard sculpted on there, colored on there, which which would, you know, should be good for Great Khali, but it's a damn good figure. I'm excited for it. Hopefully, he poses around nice. Even though he wasn't that posable, should be a fun figure nonetheless. And, you know, Bill said I think he'd never make him an elite form, but now he did, so I guess anything's kind of on the table at this juncture. But moving forward, we do have some Mattel 2-packs. We have the Dudley boys here in their colorations, or, you know, they actually have some colors going on. They have their cloth goods. Got the World Tag Titles. Very cool 2-pack. This is going to be Mattel Creations exclusive. And I like some unique molds going on. They have this unique shorts mold. They have the bigger knee pads in here. They look pretty damn good. These these are going to be very underrated, I think. These look great. I love the, you know, the shirt underneath the overalls for Devon is very unique. New head sculpts in here. At least they look new. I could be wrong, but these look very cool. Very cool figures right here. Very much looking forward to these when these go up. And then we also have Imperium. We have our two guys here, and they are going to come with their, not only their regular Imperium shirts here, with Ludwig Kaiser, but you also have their long sleeve entrance shirts, which look good. So these will go next to your Ultimate Edition Gunther, if you pick that up, who's the new world champion. I know these guys aren't really on TV right now, but these guys are going to be sought after. I know a lot of people are going to be wanting these for their modern collections and things like that. And then we also have Yokozuna, which is going to be a chase variant in the new From the Vault series number three. Now, I mean, all things considered, this isn't the best From the Vault series. I'm very confused on this Yokozuna being a chase. You know, we just got an Ultimate Edition Yokozuna that was also a chase, and now they're re-releasing re the figure in Elite form and also giving him a chase, but it's going to be ringside exclusive, so it's like, you're it's ringside exclusive, so you can't find it in the wild, so you're going to be able to order this chase with which is just going to be white pants and black pants. It's just a very weird wave, and there's only four figures in the wave, which I think is also weird. And I actually got to hold the SES Punk in, in my hands here, which we'll get into now. Uh, one of the bigger reveals of the entire San Diego Comic-Con, we knew it would be coming. Everybody knew that as soon as Punk came back, they were going to be re-releasing CM Punk. They're going to be, you know, redoing him. They're going to be redoing all of his looks, all of his sought-after figures. Got the camo SES Punk with a removable mask, which was a ringside exclusive previously, and now it returns as a ringside exclusive from the vault, and and it looks very damn good. Upgraded with double jointed arms. Has the sling. Has the mask. Very cool figure overall. We even had the men on card shot. I actually got to hold the figure. Some people were upset that he wasn't wearing the mask in the packaging itself. But definitely a very fun figure nonetheless. Something that people have been wanting. And it's been, again, very highly sought after. Going for hundreds of dollars on the aftermarket. Even loose. So this is one that is very sought after. I definitely pre-ordered one of these. But uh, definitely the best figure in From the Vault Series 3. But the other two figures in From the Vault Series 3, we do have the Defined moments WrestleMania 25 Shawn Michaels with a different head sculpt they did use the basic 100 head sculpt which is a good head sculpt wish I had some facial hair in there I don't think he was clean shaven I want to say he had a five o'clock shadow could be wrong there but this is a good figure it looks like it's just going to be the same figure re-release but it does have the entrance goods which I've only owned this figure I think one time and I never had the entrance goods of the hat so I'm glad to see this coming out it's very crazy how nostalgic this packaging is tying in with this figure and it just kind of goes hand in hand there but then the last figure is going to be the WrestleMania 39 WrestleMania 18 Hulk Hogan Hogan Elite, where he took on The Rock, which is just a repaint of the original figure. I imagine this is going to have the torso from the Monday Night Wars figure, and, uh, you know, originally that figure had the skinny torso and the wrong skin tone. Now they're re-releasing it with the accurate torso and the accurate skin tone, which is going to get people to buy in. They're going to buy this, and it should be, this is such a better upgrade. I mean, it's an obvious pickup. I mean, this is, you know, it's very bummy when they re released it originally, but now that they've redone it, it's going to be very nice. This is great stuff. Great stuff going on here. I hate that they have to keep re-releasing them, but at least it's going to be right this time, so that's good. And then 
then we also have a look at Best of Monday Night Wars. Now, the first figure is going to be the Hall of Champions, Eddie Guerrero, who's actually going to come with the United States Championship or the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship, which looks pretty good here. It's a re-release of the Eddie Guerrero. Now, originally, that Hall of Champions figure was very good, but this one's even better because it actually has the upgraded arms, the upgraded skin tone, it looks, and it's a very cool figure. I'm actually hyped for this Eddie Guerrero. Very damn good. And that Hall of Champions one was damn good originally, so it's good. We also have the Best of Attitude Era Triple H Elite, which is a very plain Jane figure, but a good figure if you just want a promo guy. Comes with a Raw's War mic, comes with a DX shirt, comes with a leather jacket. It's a great standard figure for a lot of guys. All you gotta do is pop the head sculpt off, and it's gonna have double jointed arms, so you could even make an Austin out of this. You can make so many different guys out of this in jeans, so that is that's a damn good base for a lot of figures. Hopefully this figure will be easy to come by, but we also have Shawn Michaels, which has been re-released already, so this is gonna be the third edition of this figure we've seen. He actually comes with knee pads, which is kind of crazy, but he actually is gonna have the double jointed arms as well. No chest or stomach hair, which I'm not entirely sure if that would have been accurate. I feel like it would have been, though, and he doesn't come with it, so it's kind of bummy, but he comes with a European Championship as well, but I know a lot of people are going to want to buy this one because it's the best version of this figure, and we haven't seen it in so long that I could see people wanting this and wanting to add it to their collection, so that makes the most sense there. Then we have a re-release of X-Pac here, which is going to be the Flashback Walmart exclusive, and it looks to be, you know, kind of that same head sculpt we saw on the Monday Night Wars figure, and then they, they redid some stuff here, which is, I don't know, it's very weird because there's, there's so many figures, like, overlapping and great greatest hits and top towns and this and that and best of there's so much shish going on that it's Hard to keep up with everything, but I guess that's why you come to the channel, right? So you can stay up to date. But this was formerly a Flashback Walmart exclusive, and now it is going to be a Best of Monday Night Wars Elite, which is, you know, a re-release of previously released WWE Elites from the Mattel entire timeline, except they are going to be in that Monday Night Wars era. So there's a lot going on there. But the Build-A-Figure, I think, for this set is going to be this Vincent figure from the NWO. So we have the NWO Vincent figure, which is very cool. Every time I say Virgil, people get upset, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. But the legs look good. It looks like it, this looks to be black denim, so it doesn't look like they're just going to have solid black pants, so that's a good detail there, but he comes with the NWO shirt and everything. Pretty cool figure. I like this one a lot, and even though you can kind of make this by yourself using some black pants and stuff out of Build-A-Figures that we've seen so far out of these newer Build-A-Figures, but I digress. It's a good set. And then we also have another Build-A-Figure, which is going to be the Dusty Rhodes, which is very unique, and you'll notice that his hat has this blue color, and they're actually I heard that there's going to be a running change for this, so not only are you getting Dusty here with the WCW mic and the NWO shirt, but apparently there's going to be a running change where he's going to come with a black NWO hat. So that may be something that you want to get in on. But the pants look good. I wish the belt was colored. I guess you could paint that and make it upgraded. But looks okay. I like the leg mold. I like the, the colors on the legs look good and the boots, everything. It's pretty cool Dusty. It's just a unique Dusty that, you know, it's completely, as a builder figure, it's completely skippable. You don't have to have it. But, you know, if you want it, you go out of your way. You purchase the full wave. You get the Dusty. So that's pretty cool. And you might be able to make some other characters in NWO shirts if you were to use this torso for other builder figures, maybe in jeans. Switch the boots out for some different color boots. Put a different head sculpt on there. You may be able to swing something, but... I like the way this Dusty Rhodes figure looks. And then we have some new Monday Night Wars figures getting into British Bulldog, which looks good. I feel like we've gotten a lot of him lately, at least. I could be wrong about that, but I like the way he looks. I always like the arm mold they use for him, so he's looking pretty damn good right here. We also have Booker T. Now, this is a Booker T I've been waiting on for so long, man. And we get a, an, we get a Chase variant version. So you have the black attire with the black boots and red straps, and then you have the white attire with the red boots and black straps, which is cool because you can actually mix and match these boots and make different versions as well. But but I like the glove mold that they gave him. I love the colors here. The white attire is so damn clean. Definitely going to be trying to track these down. You'll also notice that on his face, he comes with a black nose strip and then a red nose strip. So you could actually switch these heads and just add another simple detail to this. But he also is going to come with the championship glasses. Very good Booker T and a Booker T I've been wanting for a very long time. So... This actually popped me pretty good. I'm excited for this Booker T a lot. This is actually one of my favorite reveals was this Booker T getting a chase figure. And then one that really shocked me, man, was a Golga figure, which is John Tinta, which is insanity. Did not expect this at the slightest. Now, one thing that would be amazing is to get some sort of, you know, South Park plush or something like that would be amazing to go with this figure or some sort of you know what I mean like having a Cartman plush or I don't know there would just be so many things you could do here but this really just blew me away you know you have so many newness going on here we have this new shirt like these are going to be the builder figure Dusty Rhodes arms I'm pretty sure with the t-shirt sculpt but the legs look to be new these lower legs are new and the boots are new so this could be fun this could be something that they they work towards in the future for building more characters but this is something I did not see this is not something that you know this this caught me by surprise hella hard but I know 
other thing that caught me hard was this new Sand Sandman figure, which I guess technically isn't Sandman, I know. I know technically it's hardcore hack or whatever the hell you want to say there, man. But this is a new Sandman, and I'm sure he'll come with a cool shirt and they'll do some kind of cool stuff with him. But I was just happy to see this. I mean, this is... I know I made an Ultimate Edition of this, but this is the perfect torso I would have used for him. He's going to come with a kendo stick. You have the barbed wire, hopefully the shirt that he comes with. Even if he doesn't come with a shirt, you know, uh, hopefully he does come with a shirt, but you never know. But he has some cool stuff going on, which is great. And, you know, I did make that Ultimate Edition, which is still better than this technically because it'll have all the added stuff going on. But... I'm going to build up the Sandman collection, man. All I needed was that head sculpt. Hopefully, this will be a new head sculpt, not a repeat. But this head sculpt looks damn good. So, hopefully, that'll be, you know, something that we can buy multiples of and make really cool iterations of Sandman. Been waiting on an official Sandman for so damn long. Now, I can build up the collection because I've been wanting a Sandman figure for so long. But, hopefully, that'll be the case. But, this figure does look good. We also have Kane here, which is a great Kane. You have the added additions of the double-jointed arms and everything. I know that this torso, we talk about being too small. But, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Head sculpt looks good. I like this Kane a hell of a lot. You even have the detail details on the chest, which is something we hadn't seen in a while, so I'm for the cane. I just didn't want him in the Defining Moments line. That's kind of what I wanted there, but this is a great base cane for a lot of people, and you could use this as, as a ton of different things there. And then we also have Jey Uso, which is apparently going to be a top picks figure. This is an Elite. He is going to have the Ultimate Edition shoes, main event shirt, so it's going to be slightly different than the Elite 114. I think this is a top picks figure, which is good. I think the attires are slightly different. I could be wrong, but you can mix and match those. And one thing I've already thought about is putting the Elite 113 Kofi Kingston John Cena shoes, the new shoe mold, not the John Cena shoe mold, but the new shoe mold. Putting those on this figure or his other Elite from Elite 114 is going to be absolutely chef's kiss, so I look forward to that very much, so, so that'll be really fun to do. On surgery, we can make a really cool fix up Jey Uso, but we also have Elite 117 Axiom here, which is something I didn't expect to see. He has some cool forearm shiver sleeves there. Pretty cool figure. I don't like this torso for anybody, but I guess it could work for him, you know? And he also has the Dirt Nowitzki three-pointer hands right there, which is pretty cool. And I like this, you know, it's going to be very, I don't know, for some reason, it's something about, you know, mass wrestlers, they just make for great figures. Like WWE, AEW, doesn't matter who makes them. Mass wrestlers always make for damn good figures, and I'm all here for this. Looks damn good. I like this Axiom figure there. And then another one that I really didn't even see posted for whatever reason until after the fact, but we have Make a Difference Fa 2, which is just another absurd pull that I didn't think I'd see coming. We've, we've seen so many different versions of this guy now that, I mean, he's coming up on Mankind or Mick Foley for most gimmicks, I swear. But this is another really cool pull. You know, it, it ain't going to be for everybody, but... It's a very cool figure nonetheless. He comes with a beanie and everything, which is very cool. I mean, you have the Sultan, you have Rikishi, you have so many different cool versions. I wish we could get like an official Batman Rikishi kind of, but you know, but we have Head Shrinkers, Samoan SWAT team. I mean, there is a lot of stuff going on that we've seen. Intercontinental Champion. Technically, we have seen two cool versions, so I don't know. There, There's different things that we've seen here, but Make a Difference is not something I saw. So this was a very cool one that popped me hard when I saw it. We also have a new Elite Naomi, which is coming, which should be cool. She's going to have the new boots and articulation. Not a lot to say. Head sculpt looks good, but can't really judge it until we see what the colors are going to look, look like, obviously. But happy to see a new Naomi. Her figures are always damn cool. We also have Tama Tonga, which is one I didn't expect to see this early. And it's very weird. You know, it looks like he's going to have the Austin Theory torso so, which I guess could work. It wouldn't be my first choice, I don't think, but hopefully the formula works out good. I always thought that just an Elite 56 Carl Anderson formula would work, and then you could change the torso to like the Seth Rollins or Finn Balor torso. I think that would have been cool as well, but he is going to come with his vest in there, hopefully. You know, he wears the vest a lot, so I don't know. I just hope that all that fits well and the head sculpt's nice and everything like that, but t having an official Tama Tonga from WWE Mattel is something I don't think I'd ever see, man, and we finally have it here. And we also have Jacob Fatu in a great out render which is it's very awesome obviously he looks so good he looked amazing at SummerSlam he's looked good every every way he's got new tag team champion obviously and I don't like this torso I hope that they fix this torso but this is a guy you gotta nail because he's so good and everything man I have been told by some people that they're gonna try and fix this guy a little bit and we'll, we'll see what comes of it but Jacob Fatu head sculpt looks good even though his that figure that I got from the MLW line is amazing that hopefully you know the elite you can't really compete with the elite so hopefully this will be a really good elite when it comes out and hopefully the formula and everything is adjusted and looks great. We also have Ethan Page, who's another guy that I'm so glad we're getting here. His AEW figure is okay, but this one should be much, much better. I think it's going to be a great execution, and hopefully the head sculpt turns out nice and everything like that. But we're going to wrap this thing up with some three packs here, some box sets, and we're finishing it up with the Samoan Dynasty WWE Generations Elite set with Roman Reigns, Afa, and Sika. 
which looked very good. I know that the feet looked big at Comic-Con, but I think they are going to be changing that, hopefully. They're going to come with two different versions of these characters. We get the old man versions. We get the younger versions. We get Hawaiian shirts, which could look... You could use those on so many different guys. You don't have to use these Hawaiian shirts on these guys. You could put these Hawaiian shirts on different characters. But I love the box set. I love the box art. We do have a tribal chief here, which looks okay. It's not my favorite Roman Reigns. It's just not a lot, you know, not a lot going on. But we do have sculpted gauntlets for gold Roman Reigns and everything. It's a cool set. I'm definitely going to grab it. But it is... I don't know. The body's going to be a bit small for the, you know, the Wild Samoans. But it's okay. I'll take it. It's a cool set. I understand what they were going for, and it looks pretty cool. And I like the I like the weird stuff like this, man. Like last year when we got the Maya Villa Legacy Pack. I like stuff like that, man. But I think we're ending it with my favorite reveal of the entire Comic Con week. And I'm I'll probably today do my top five in some sort of short or something on the channel. But this was my favorite reveal, I think. I'd have to sit on it, but especially out of the elites, the Evolution Legacy Pack right here is amazing, man. I mean, this is right up my alley. I've talked about it on the channel. The Evolution storyline from start to finish, like, if you take that whole entire era of WWE, like, the Evolution, the way it started throughout its build and its reign until its demise, that entire Evolution storyline is probably one of my favorite WWE or wrestling storylines of all time. So getting this in a pack is just so good. The, the logo and on the box and everything looks amazing. You have Batista, Triple H, Randy Orton. It's one of my favorite moments ever when they turn on Randy Orton and kick him out of Evolution. He's in the red and gold gear, which is a gear I've been wanting out of Randy Orton. You get two new head sculpts, world title that has Randy Orton actually written on the plate itself. You have this new Batista head sculpt where he's smiling. You could switch that out. The hair's messy. You have a new maroon boots attire Batista that could fit in Evolution. You have this dress shirt. Triple H figure, which looks good. You can make him shirtless. You can make that evolution version of him. There's just a lot going on here that looks so damn good. Now, I think that a... I really want to see a sculpted, like, build-a-figure suited figure that has the collar open with no tie. But I'll take the cloth goods for now. There's different things you can kind of play around with. Maybe buy some off, you know, off-market kind of cloth goods to fix these guys up. I'm definitely going to try my hand at making different versions of evolution in their suits. But I think having an open button-down with a suit jacket over it, Elite, is something we need to see with, like, some sunglasses and some gray slacks. And, like, you could do cream, you could do black, you could do brown. There's a lot of different ways you could slice it, but this is definitely one of my favorite packs. I mean, this is so good, man. And then you could even do, like, spitting in his face. You know, hand me that belt, damn it. You have the stern Triple H face where he, you know, he turns the thing down and Batista drops him. Just such a damn, like, a shock and awe Randy Orton face. This is damn good, man. This is everything that I'd want out of, you know, my WWE figure collection. So this one popped me hard. This is one that really got me going. I, I definitely love this, and I think that is every single Elite that was revealed or, or you know, revealed in some way, whether it was posted to Ringside Collectibles, whether it was posted anywhere or talked about. I think that is every single WWE Elite that was shown off over the Comic-Con week, and I'm sure that we're not done. There's plenty of stuff coming, man, but I had to get on here, make a separate video, and we'll probably talk about the main events of the basics at, at a later date and everything, but I had to get on here. Always every year we make a video talking about the Ultimates, talking about the Elites, breaking down the images, so I wanted to do so and, you know, talk about it here on the channel, man. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'd like to know what you think of all these figures. What was your favorite Elite reveal? There's so much here, man. I mean, this kind of worked as a, a long-form podcast episode, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. But I would like to know where you guys stand on all of these figures, man. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up the entire coverage of San Diego Comic-Con, man. But again, I'm probably going to do a short later revealing my top five favorite reveals of, like, elites. Probably, I might do my favorite ultimates, my favorite elites, like, two separate lists, because I don't think you can really put the two together. But nonetheless, man, I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below, of course. Leave me all your thoughts, man. But huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the EMDT YouTube channel, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you for everything, as always. But I think that is going to wrap the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Twitter and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.